New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Viva reached out to me and they asked me if I would be interested in any of their tools to share with you guys on one of my Tool Tuesdays. I replied back to Viva and I said, you know, what do you got that's unique, something that's not terribly expensive, something that my viewers can use, and something that is a little bit different, because that's what we like to focus on is unique tools. So Viva provided us this tool today. They want us to take a look at it, see how it works, and do a review on it, and that's what we're going to do. I really like the idea behind this tool. It is a floor jack. As you can see, it is very small and compact, yet it will pick up three tons. It's kind of designed around an airbag and it is pneumatically operated. The controls on the top of the handle could not be any simpler. They are basically just ball valves. The green valve allows you to raise the height of the jack and the red valve allows you to lower the height of the jack. There is also an air pressure release valve so you don't put too much pressure into the jack. Working pressure is up to 145 PSI and its lifting time is five seconds or less. That's quite impressive. The air jack in its lowest position is right around five inches thick. At its maximum height, we're a little over 15 inches. That gives the jack about 10 inches of reach. The jack does have wheels on the leading edge, so it rolls around the shop really easily. The air jack is designed to stand on its end when in storage, and that's one thing I really like about this jack is it just doesn't take up a lot of space when you're not using it. I've placed this jack directly underneath the axle of my boat trailer. This particular boat probably weighs about 2,500 pounds and probably another three or 400 pounds on a trailer. Because this uses ball valves, operating the jack is extremely easy. All you have to do is open up the valve and we can control how much flow is going into the jack so we have a little bit of speed control. I'm gonna lift it to its maximum height. And we are at its maximum height right now. Now, obviously you would never need to jack this tire this high in the air. I just wanted to show you how high the jack would actually go. To let the jack back down, all you have to do is open up the red lever. And again, because it's a ball valve, you can control how fast it drops. So we're gonna open it up quite a bit. And just like that, the trailer is sitting on all four wheels again. In one final time of operation, so you can see how this works, we're gonna open up the air. And that is about its maximum height. And then we'll release the air. Of course, there's not a lot of weight on it, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to retract. But that is pretty much all there is to it. So what are my final thoughts of this jack? Well, I really like it. It's lightweight. It seems to be constructed very well. It's very quick to operate. I like the fact that it stores very nicely. It's really a good jack. I, I really enjoy using this jack. I know that sounds really odd, but I like it. At the time of this video, it costs right around $118. If I can find any discounts or anything, I will put a link down below, but definitely check out the description. We'll put links to this jack in that description. And if over the course of time I have any problems with this jack, I will put it in a pinned comment at the top of the comment sections down below. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.